Let me tell you the story of how Abby got her name. When I was pregnant with my oldest and I found out she was a girl, I dove into the world of baby names. I did all the research. I knew the meanings and the spelling alternatives and I settled on Haley Ann. Haley was a name rooted in the deep feminine history of my family. It had gone back for generations. I definitely knew that before researching the women's names in my family. And Anne sounded good with Haley. I am also white and we only have like seven middle names that we are allowed to choose from legally. And then about two weeks before she was born, I suddenly decided I hated the name Haley Ann. Fast forward two weeks, the baby had arrived and they asked me, what's her name? I said, I don't know. A few hours before I was scheduled to leave, a nurse came in with a big packet of paper and she said, the hospital can help you file the birth certificate and social security information for your daughter if you know her name. And I said, I don't know her name. And she said, okay, well then I'll just send this home with you and you can fill it out. And I said, it's Abigail. Not everything has to have this grand meaningful story attached to it. Abigail got her name because her mom was scared to do government paperwork by herself. So if you don't have a great story or this magnificent history to share, you're okay, you're fine. The internet makes it sound more important than it is.